everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and today I have for you a late package uh, this is the scrawler box uh, from December 2020 <laughs> um, scrawler box is an art supply company uh, based in uh, the UK so this ships from uh, Great Britain and you know, during these times, it just takes longer and longer to get those packages. So it's not really Scrawler Box's fault, it is the fault of the mail, but um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it anymore just because of the delays and it, which causes you to see this box so late um, that I'm not sure that, you know, you've probably seen it from other people several times over by the time I get to post it. But anyways, as you can see, it is Scrawler Box. And Scrawler, they spell it S-C-R-A-W-L-R Box, B-O-X. So if you're looking it up, um, that's how you spell it so you can find it. All right, so let's, with that, let's just get on into this because it's already so far behind. And here's the inside of the box. See, you can see that's wonky spelling there. All right. So, you start out with the Scrawler Zine, and that's what that looks like. And inside of the Scrawler Zine, you have your spoiler, which I don't want to, I just looked at, but um, you also have a, a feature artist, and I think maybe they have to do with what the um, products are going to be or maybe they receive the products and they make something out of it. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I have not read, you know, I've only gotten it one other time and I hadn't, it was during the move and didn't really have time to read up on all of it. But it gives you a, a bunch of information about this artist. It says a sit down with our Decem December featured artist. Her name is Marta Betige or something like that. I'm not sure. I mean, that's how I'm looking at it and seeing it. Mm. Um, it gives you uh, tips on the use of the products in the box. And then it gives you a scrawler gallery, which I assume is like from the box or two before. Um, things that uh, members have made, their artwork that they've submitted, I I'm assuming. And that's pretty cool. And then there is... Uh, Scrawler Extra, so it says Expressive History and Scrawler Star, Katie O'Neill. Um, so here's this. Ugh. Maybe if I can hold it up. There you go, guys. So it's a nice little uh, booklet here, zine, that tells you, um, you know, some interesting things about uh, an artist and, and the products and all of that. So here is the artist print from this month's artist. Now, this is not my preferred style of art. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. Um, you know, lots of people like this kind of, of art. It, I, it's just not for me. But that being said, you know, it's not, it's, you know, it's all right. Um, and that person's name is Marta. I'm going to just spell the last name. It's B as in boy, B-E-T-L-E-J, okay? Let me see if I can get it close enough that you can see it so that in case you want to look it up, I hope that that is, you know, I hope you can see it. All right, so it says I'm an artist from Poland. So this person has made things for weddings and done jewelry and designed mascots and clothes and has finally returned to painting and so I'm not going to read all of this but um, something about technique, let me see. In my artwork I combine drawing and painting techniques, creating spontaneous sketches and mark making which can be seen in this featured piece using these different techniques and weaving my thoughts and emotions into them combining art with feelings as for me they are one in the same okay sorry i'm with my dyslexia i just don't really want you to have to 
sit there while I stumble and bumble through. All right. They give you a surface. Uh, and this is a pad of watercolor paper from Derwent. Derwent watercolor paper, superior smooth surface, perfect for pencils. This is A5 size, 12 sheets of 300 GSM, 140 pound weight, acid free. So there you go, that'll be nice, nice size to work with. And then we get our little package of supplies to use on the surface. It's in the little paper with the little scrawler um, um, sticker with their little scribbled logo. And holding that up, I ripped the back of it. So let's just open it from the back, shall we? <laughs> Since I ripped it already. All right, so there are a few things in here. Let's just pull those out and set them down here. First, we have the little like bookmark type deal with the spoiler stuff on it. And we have three of these, whatever they are. We will find out what they are. There's like a, I don't know, fuchsia, mauve pinky kind of color, um, yellow and purple, dark purpley color. What are they? They are art crayons, mixed media art crayons by Marabou. And they are watercolor crayons. I'm trying to see if it says what this color name is. Pomegranate, number 124 pomegranate. That's this one. You can see it well enough. I'll get maybe the yellow one since the printing will be easier to see. I'll get that one closer to you. And so they have it in number 220, which is sunshine yellow. And they have it in number 037, plum. And as I said, I'm going to hold the yellow one up closer so that in case you need to see that. Try not to bump into my table and spill my coffee. All right, Ooh, sorry. And again, that company is Marabou, M-A-R-A-B-U. Art crayons, mixed media, watercolor. And I gave you the numbers in case you wanted to look up those colors. Um, let's open these up and swatch them. And because I did not bring... Clothes, cat clothes on my. Hmm. Maybe I'll open them and <laughs> swatch them for you. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, tissue paper is probably not the best thing to swatch on. But it's here. We will maybe try it. Oh wow, the um it's like drawing with lipstick. Okay. There's the yellow one. I'm gonna hold it up and show it to you. <laughs> I don't think it's probably um, meant to draw on tissue paper, but it worked. I colored on the tissue paper and it's there. I didn't wanna um open the watercolor paper and waste a sheet just to Swatch colors. Wow. Now, this probably is not representative of what it's going to be like on paper that is not waxy. You know, tissue paper is rather waxy. But it goes on really smooth even on tissue paper. Come on, you. Open. Open. Wow, you guys, it really, truly feels like I'm drawing or scribbling on here with a um, lipstick. Look at how bold those colors are. 
very saturated. All right, um, I have, is there water in this? I think there is. We'll see if I can add a little drop of water. Yep, there's water in it. And see what I can do with it even on this. Yeah, it definitely um, moves around well with water. Let's move those. And what I'm going to do is, so that you can see better, I'm going to blend that with the purple and that pomegranate in together a bit. Now, remember, I'm doing this on a waxy paper, so it's not moving real well, but it does move around pretty well, even on there. I don't know if you can see where I blended those together with the water to make, um, See if we can hold it up and kind of move it around for you a little bit. See, it does move really well, even on this wax paper. So that is nifty. Those are gonna be fun to play with on the proper paper. All right, another thing that was in here is a pencil. And this is a drawing pencil. I'll get it closer in a second. A 6B, as in boy, is the number. And it's a Faber-Castell, Castile, however you guys say it. And that box up there is falling over. So it's just a graphite, you know, drawing pencil, I believe. Stuff's falling down. So if things fall down and hit me in the head, I apologize to you and to me. All right, I am going to try to give myself just a little more room for my chair, or I'm gonna have to change out chairs, which may not be a bad idea. You know, for the getting up and the getting down without knocking stuff over. All right, they also provide you with an R19 Royal and. Royal and what? Royal and R19? I don't know, number six brush. Never heard of it. brush with the hair that needs cut off that's kind of a rogue hair sticking out anyway you can't see it real well but it's just a paintbrush and there's one more item technically two more items trying to get that back down in there without I love the caps but I hate trying to get them back in without getting the hair sticking out. No, well, cut it off. One more thing, Derwent Mutable Eraser. And it's packaged up in some paper here. Nicely packaged. And tissue paper and sticker to hold it shut. Be my friend so I can get it open for you. I'm sure you've seen gummy eraser and uh, kneadable erasers or what when I went to school we called gummy erasers. Wow that one's pretty sticky. It's just this gray like almost clay like well I think it kind of is like a clay type thing that um, erases real well for graphite and stuff. Speaking of the pencil's pretty soft. I don't know if you can really see it, but anyway, it's nice, nice, nice. To add to my collection of drawing pencils. And that leaves us with the sticker of the month. I don't know which way it goes, but there you go. That's just the sticker. All right, let's read about this stuff. Now that I've tried to kill my room and knock stuff down. All right, I'm going to take off my glasses. The print is uber small. This month, we are bringing a splash of color to the end of what has turned out to be a strange and pretty miserable year. Now is the time to get to work expressing those frustrations and pent-up emotions, turning them into something beautiful. 
Use the contents of this box to art away your worries and reset and reset ready for a better new year. Sorry, tiny print. Try not to worry about the details or the finished outcome, but use the process to express an emotion or feeling. Let the mark making and line work do the talking rather than the subject matter. Express yourself, let loose and create. Marabou art crayons. These art crayons are buttery smooth. Yes, they are. Wax based soft pastels in a sturdy, fully loaded retractable holder with an ergonomic grip and a clear protective cap. They are a versatile medium suitable for a variety of fine art and mixed media work. They work well on raw or primed surfaces such as paper, canvas, fab fabric, or wood. They produce a vivid, light, fast pigment and are water soluble, so can also be used to create seamless blends and washes and are wipe resistant after 24 hours. These crayons are a highly forgiving art product that you can work with in tons of ways, working and reworking to your creative heart's content. It is a product that encourages play and experimentation, so you can let your experiment uh, so you can let your experimentations run a little wild. And then they are, um, it's in British pounds. So it's $6.99 each in British pounds. The Faber-Castell Gold Faber Pencil 6B, as in boy, the gold Faber Pencil is a high quality, very versatile graphite pencil with a super soft core perfect for expressing yourself through sketch. A great addition to your art supply collection and excels with its exceptional sketching performance. The hexagonal shape and the brake resistant lead with the typical Faber-Castell securo, securo bonding process makes them an ideal companion during pencil work for any artist. And we love that classy purple and gold stripe and it sells for um, 70, um, what we would call 70 cents, but again, it's British pounds, so. Um, Derwent Needable Eraser. The soft and pliable eraser is perfect for erasing as well as lifting out tone and color. It uses, it, use is suitable for graphite, collard, and pastel, pastel pencils. It can be used to create a highly, a variety of erasing techniques, including highlighting, stippling, and ghosting. And it sells for, uh, $2.69 in British pounds. The Royal and Langnickel Taclon brush is a high quality instrument created with expert craftsmanship. It is suitable for all manner of water based mediums and is easily cleaned with soap and water to remove any pigment residue, enduring long, ensuring long durability and reuse. 129 British pounds and Derwent watercolor pad 300 GSM in the A5 was developed especially for water soluble pencils. This smooth paper is perfect for water soluble color inks and watercolor paints. The smooth surface also provides an excellent base for the Marabou art crayons included in this box. Apply them directly and use the smooth sheets to blend colors together with your fingers. Then add some water and put this paper through its paces experimenting with these supplies. And it sells for $7.29 in the British pounds and squalor, squalor, scrawler challenge, expressive ex expressions, expressive expressions. Say that five times real fast. Each box provides you with a selection of art supplies and inspiration, but we also want to spark your creativity. Every month you'll be given a challenge word or phrase to be interpreted however you wish. Try and create something using only the supplies in this box. 
Good luck, and don't forget to share your creations with us. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my scrawler box. Um, I do like the box. I do like that, um, to me, if, if you, okay, I'm comparing this one with Art Snacks. Um, speaking of, there's no candy in this one. Usually there's a piece of candy. All right. And I thought it said there was one. Somebody ate my candy. It was supposed to have a royal sugar-free strawberries and cream candy in it. I got cheated. All right. So anyways, um, I, like I said, compare this to Art Snacks, which is based over here in the United States. And uh, because of the, um, you know, basically what you get is just a few art supplies um, that you are then supposed to use to, to, you know, make a work of art. And that's in the challenge. Um, I like it better than art snacks in that I feel that for me, now, you know, other people may be able to find inspiration in the art snack supplies that are, to me, very random. Uh, for me, these things go together a little better and I can envision something to create with it a little better than the randomness that I got from art snacks. That being said, though, um, when you factor in the higher cost for shipping because it's coming from the UK and the long wait time, it, it's not as worth it for me. Um, I will just stick to my uh, Let's Make Art, which, you know, I like the videos that, you know, and, and the guided um, projects in that that help you to learn how to use new products. Um, so I'll stick with that one. Um, I do like the products that came in the scrawler box, both times that I've gotten it. Uh, the other time I got a really nice uh, set of watercolors, like I think they were graphite watercolors if I'm not mistaken. I haven't gotten a chance to play with them yet because of the move and the holidays and all of that. But um, I'm just gonna have to move on from this one onto a new box. And with that being said, I will be showing you something new in just a moment. And until then, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. That really, really will help me out. Uh, I am having a contest to give away this really cool magnifying um, like vintage TV looking magnifier for your phone screen that works really well. Um, I have one. I love it. I will be giving that away as soon as we hit 200 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, Please subscribe. You have to be a subscriber to be in um, for a chance to win that. It started out as a $40 item, which I got on sale for 20 something. I would think around 25 and change um, because it was on a weekend sale and I liked it so well. I bought one to give away on my channel. So it is a nice prize. I hope that you will um, subscribe so that maybe you can win it and share with your friends and family so that maybe if you don't win, one of them do. So let's, we can only hope, right? All right, thank you for watching my channel and for listening to me babble, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>